Hello, my marvellous sausages. It's the 8th of November, and as I go careening from wall to wall, we're approaching the place where Zer hides with all his gear stashed in his dirty Mac. Excellent stuff. Hello, testicle, t I mean, tentacle face. How's it going? And let's pop our way straight into it. We've got a fantastic catalyst there. You've got the Sunshot catalyst. Totally brilliant and great. Uh, there we are. Upgrade. Uh, there we are. We've got that one. And then we've also got the Traveler's Chosen catalyst as well. I love the Traveler's, Traveler's Chosen in uh, PvP. Not that I play it very much, but it's great fun. Anyway, two excellent uh, uh, catalysts there. This one, using your grade ability, partially refills the magazine and changes this weapon's damage type to match your grenade until you stow it and it increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. And as for the Sunshot Catalyst, it basically extends the range by 27 and the stability by 18. So there we are. That's pretty cool if you like the Sunshot. Lovely, lovely. Let's get into the old exotic... Uh, Accoutrements for the Hunters, the Foe Tracer Helmet. Let's have a look at this now. Uh, damaging a powerful combatant or guardian with an ability temporarily increases weapon damage of the same type. Very complicated. Defeating that marked target with damage that matches the element creates an elemental pickup. We've got a 65 of that. We've got a spike in mobility and strength. You know what? That's not bad at all, actually, that Foe Tracer. Well worth considering that there. It kind of reminds me of a Biker Scout helmet from Return of the Jedi. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there we are. Moving on, we've got these strongholds for the Titans. Uh, now, these are maximizing your guard stats on swords. It's basically a sword exotic, to be perfectly honest. Rapidly damaging targets after blocking shots with a sword grants restoration for a duration determined by the number of shots blocked. Nice. 66 was overall higher, but the spread is quite bland. Uh, we kind of wanted that in resilience, didn't we, I suppose? Or, uh, or well, yeah, I'm afraid it's not great on the... On the uh, Stat distribution. And then we've got the Ophidian Aspect. These are great. Weapons ready and reload very quickly provides a small benefit to the airborne effectiveness stat of all weapons. Probably good in old PvP there. Uh, taking ages of things to come in. I don't know what's going on tonight. We've got a 66. And that's exactly what we want there for Warlocks because it's in recovery. Look, 21 in recovery. That's good. Uh, but we've got the Spike in Intellect. Well, you know, getting your super back. But ideally, we'd have liked it in Strength or Discipline. But not bad at all. And then our extra doodars this week. This is strange, look. See, I, was, I could have sworn he was supposed to be selling the surfboard every week, but obviously he's not. So there we go. But we've got exotic ciphers here. Very useful, particularly for buying exotics from the old, uh, uh, what's his face, Rahul. 79 strange coins. Let's check. And the push. That's very expensive, that. So there we go. There's that. Now, unfortunately, my light GG isn't up, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, but we've got a send it to alloys here. We've got two for 71. Um, is that any good? I don't know, it's quite expensive, isn't it, really? There's not that much else here this week. We've got, uh, three, that's terrible, three for five strange coins and five for five. <laughs> three, not strange, yeah, three enhancement calls for five strange coins or five enhancement uh, calls for strange five strange coins. I'll leave you work out which one's the better deal there, yes. Cash-wise, we've got seven strange coins for 29,000 glimmer. Or seven for 33,000 glimmer. Again, it's a tricky choice, but it's up to you. And then finally, we've got the uh, Nightfall Ciphers. Adept, so you can buy adept weapons from uh, Doodar Face over in the corner of the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> of the uh, tower. I've been really ill. My mind's gone. Uh, 97 strange coins, though. Even to my addled brain, that's bloody expensive. But you do get two of them, I suppose. And as for the Hawk Moon, well, it's pretty rubbish this week, I'm afraid. Overall, it's an F on light like, GG. Not popular. We've got Heavy Grip, Snapshot Shites, Alloy Magazine, and Polygonal Rifling. I missed Zer last week, of course. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. And apparently, the Hawk Moon was excellent last week. Hey ho, I've come back now and things are all back to normal. Then, exotic wise, we've got three corkers, if you ask me. You've got the Arbalist. Fantastic anti-barrier option. It's a fusion in your primary slot, although it does still take secondary ammo. Uh, energy ammo, rather. But that is it's excellent, the Arbalist. Well worth picking up if you ain't got one. we got the Hard Light Auto Rifle. Flicks between Void, Solar, and Arc. It's excellent, particularly with the Catalyst. It's great. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't picked up that Hard Light, I really would. It's totally tremendous. Isn't that weird why it doesn't it pivots around the front of it there instead of the middle of the gun? How bizarre. And then finally, we've got the colony, which launches little insects that crawl up people's legs and blows off their wedding vegetables. Uh, it's fantastic. So, yes, it's, uh, well, you know, it's great, this, isn't it? I'm sure it's had a bit of a buff recently as well. Then down into the weapons, we've got the No Reprieve Shotgun. Uh, now, you can um, craft this one if you want because it's from uh, Season of the Plunder, whatever it was called. Yes, uh, so you can craft it if you want to. This particular role 
ain't that great. This is a C minus on like GG after I've inputted all the doodads. We got Wellspring, Stats for All, Assault Mag or Extended Mag, Polygonal Rifling or Chambered Comp and Potato as well. It's a slug frame too and it's got a reload speed masterwork, but it is Stasis, so it means it goes in your top slot. So, you know, that's not a great one, but you may want to craft it well worth considering. Next, we've got a Distant Pull, which sounds uh, a bit rude to me, like pleasuring yourself on a mountain top far away. Anyway, uh, we've got an uh, opening shot, ambitious assassin, tactical mag, alloy magazine, fluted barrel, or corkscrew rifling, rapid fire frame, again it's stasis. Uh, uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, that's from uh, Season of the Deep, that one. This is overall a C plus on like GG, so you know, not brilliant, but not great. Well, <laughs> not rubbish. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right then, let's go to the next one. First in, last out. And for this one, we've got an overall C on Light GG here. We've got Surrounded. I think this is pretty good for shotgun, though, and auto-loading holster. You know, see, that's not bad, because then you can swap over, and then uh, it'll reload after a short period of time. That's not bad. Appended Mag or Light Mag. And then we got Smell Bar, or also Arrowhead Break. That's Pinpoint Slug Frame as well, and that's Arc. You know what? Even though that's a C, right? I think that's actually pretty good. Next, we've got the Cartesian Coordinate, an absolute belter in its day, rapid fire uh, solar fusion rifle. However, this particular perk combo is not popular at all. Uh, we've got thrash, I mean thresh, and we've got slideways, particle repeater, uh, projection fuse, red dot micro, and clean shot is, and there's a charge time masterwork on it as well. This is a D minus, unlike GG, for this particular role. Shame, because it can be a corker. But do not despair folks for this week we have a god roll tucked away in our legendary weapons it's this it's the interference six grenade launcher uh, now it's arc it's adaptive frame and of course grenade launchers are completely awesome to have in revenant so you really should think about picking this one up what do we have we've got full court excellent we've also got clown cartridge hey i'm gonna pick one of these up myself because we've got proximity grenades but bugger that we've got spike grenades as well and a choice between linear compa potato and Quatermass in the Pit with a Blast Radius Masterwork on it as well. That is excellent. That's a god roll, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you pick that one up. Totally excellent and great. Here I am, look, buying it. There's proof. Lovely. Next, we've got the Falling Guillotine Sword. My favourite sword, to be perfectly honest. Although this roll ain't that good. It's a C in popularity. But, you know, you could do worse. It's Void. It's Vortex Frames. You spin around. Uh, we've got a Counter Attack, Relentless Strikes. And then a choice of Balance Guard or Sword Master's Guard. And then Honed Edge, Glen Close or Tempered Edge as well. With, of course, our Impact Masterwork. So, overall, uh, like, like an averagely popular roll on that one. And now with the Class Sword. And, of course, we start off with the Warlock, as I always do. This is the Eternity's Edge. Hey, this isn't that bad, actually. This is an A on like GG in popularity. Surrounded, I think, is generally a good one to have on a sword because you're always going to be surrounded, aren't you? Uh, energy transfer, infinite guard, and then choice of enduring blade, glen close, and tempered edge as well. Again, with the impact masterwork, nice. And let's have a look at the legendary armor set. It's the whole fast set from my favorite season, Season of the Arrivals. I don't know why I say that. I just got fond memories of it. I think I was enjoying Destiny loads back then. and had so much atmosphere with those ships hanging in the air. Anyway, enough of my old harking back to the old days like a sad old git. 68. That's pretty high. Oh, it's good. It's in the strength and recovery. Hey, they're not bad at all, them. Well worth picking up those lovely. Then we've got the herbs. Let's have a look at the herbs. Nice looking set. I like that bar going around its head. Or is it a bar? 67 again. Uh, so it's quite nice high statage. But, well, it's okay. The spread's okay. Not great. Great. Uh, what else do we have here? Here's the Bond. Bond. Brook Bond or Warlock Bond. I love my drip. I don't care what anybody says. There we are. There's that. There's no stats on that, of course. Then we've got the whole fast cover with those big rivets in them. Um, let's have a look at this. 65. A nice spike in resilience, but a bit average elsewhere. Nice looking helmet, though. And then finally, the bootays, the hold fast boots. Let's have a look at them. 62. Uh, pretty low. Nice looking set. Uh, nothing to write home about. And here we are, my sexy titan. And we've got the crown splitter here. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's an F. Oh, that's a shame. Not popular. So, you know, surrounded, but that's all right. Surrounded flash counter, heavy guard, hungry edge, glen close, or tempered edge, and our impact masterwork. So nothing to write home about there for the hunter. I mean, the, uh, what's he called? The Titan. Uh, hold fast gauntlets. Let's have a look at them. I, don't, I love them. Oh, they look great with my get up, don't you think? Uh, let's have a look. 64er. Uh, spike in resilience. That's not too bad. Overall, we could look for a nice, a nicely higher stat. 
chest wise hold fast plate let's have a look at this nice plate keep his sandwiches in yes 65 resilience again we've got a spike in something's going wrong here uh, and an intellect as well which is a shame but still not bad not bad not bad here's the uh, tea towel which is quite nice and i quite like that i love the rivety look of this one we should have a few more different armor sets coming in here though hold fast helm uh, let's have a look at that. A 65 uh, mobility. Yeah, nothing to shout home about there. It would be nice, wouldn't it, if you had, like, old armor sets from old events and stuff. Maybe events that don't even happen anymore. Hold fast greaves here as well. These are for the trousers. Uh, these are 62. Not great, I'm afraid. But look at them. And finally, for the hunters, we've got the quick fang. This one's a D in this combination of perkage. So not popular. On guard, energy transfer, swordmaster's guard, hungry edge, glen close, and tempered edge as well. So there we go. There's that. That. Let's have a look at the stuff. Right, what have we got here? Uh, 66 there. Hey, and a spike in mobility and in strength. Nice for the gauntlets there. It's very slow again this evening, folks. It's taking me ages to get into the tower. And look how long it's taking the graphics to punch in. There we go. Look, they've actually come in there. Nice looking set, though. Yeah, and that's good. Very good uh, stats on the uh, on the arms there. Let's have a look at the... Oh, for God's sake, I bought the bloody thing again. Let's um, have a look at the... <laughs> I do it all the time. Hey, mobility again and in discipline. That is great. Very nice indeed again. Uh, Hunters, you've already got the best sets of armors this week in regard to stats. Here's the cloak, if they could have been bothered to finish it. Hardy har. Uh, we've got the helmet here, the hold fast mask. Let's have a look at that. Nice glue <laughs> with my beanie hat on that. Now, see, that's a whopping 67, but a really disappointing distribution. They should have had a big spike of mobility there and discipline or something. Never mind, eh? Not too great. And then, well, it's great, but it's not. And then the strides. Strides! Let's have a look at those strides on. 64. Quite, uh, yeah, not great. But never mind, eh? We've got uh, the, uh, the headpiece and the arms are both great. And here's a quick public service announcement for you. In case you didn't know, New Age Black Armoury, one of the best shaders in the game, is now for sale with Ada this week. 10,000 Glimmer, just in case you missed it. And Trials of Osiris is back this week. Don't forget, you've got extra rank points that you can get. So if you're looking to go up with your rank rewards, now is a good week to do it. Uh, let's have a look at the Adept as well. It is the... Hang on, we'll get there in a minute. It's the... Uh it's Aisha's Care Adept again. There we go. Oh, yes. And the map is the Burnout. So there we go. Actually, some pretty nifty stuff there with the God Roll in the Grenade Launcher Department. That's totally marvellous. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be purchasing this week and let everybody know if there's any corkers that I may have missed. I love to know. Look, I'm drinking coffee now till I pass out. Anyway, that's it for me for this weekend. I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Hurt.